And that is why I am the best singer in the world. Kaka. What? Sh oh. Performance is sh I like the, uh, the end of the song. Oh, do you mean the part where I got really loud? No, the end of the song. I like it. The end. You mean? No. You know when the song ends? Yeah. And you come to a stop? I love that. Guys, welcome back to another unfiltered gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Upstage, and it is a game for two to four players. It's going to be using a board that rotates around, and you're trying to score as many points as possible by gathering artists from your running track into your own little area or your band. You might be hip hop, you might be country, you might be uh, rock and roll or pop. Those are all going to be different differentiation in color as well as genre. In which, after you've gotten four artists and everybody else has as well, the game's going to end. And you'll choose three and whoever has the most points based on the different type of game mode you're playing whether it be the rehearsal mode or the live tv mode you're going to score those points as well as the points on the cards and if you have the most you win the game very simple straightforward game let's see what i think about it after i show you the components then what uh, the walkthrough is going to be and my review all right guys upstage let's do it so here we have the game upstaged and everything that's included and as you can see, pretty simple. You're going to get the box which is actually going to double as the game board. Additionally, you're going to get these four flaps that you'll insert into the box. There's two different types of gameplay. One is going to be the basic rehearsal way and the other is going to be, I guess, the uh, more advanced way or for you more strategic gamers. And as you can see, it also works to let you spin it around in circles, either 90 or 100 degree, 180 degrees. You get a set of artists and there's wilds and there's the four different types. So it's country, pop, or rock. And then you're also going to get cue cards. These cards are the cards you're going to utilize on your turn, up to two of them, to uh, basically move the board around and push artists along. You want to push them into your side of the board or push them onto other people's or just off the board completely, trying to gather the best artists you possibly can. Don't forget the rule book is in the game, as well as the four different... Uh, player eights and they also tell you they double as what you are whether you're rock pop hip-hop slash r&b or playing as country of course i guess i would go for the more country since as you know best song in the world i made uh, just recently but uh you can choose your own if you'd like but that's what you get in the game let me show you how it's played so here we have Upstage by Mike Trias and everything included set up for four players. Everybody's going to start with four cue cards as well as they're going to be the rock, pop, hip hop, or country. And of course we have it set up for rehearsal mode. But if you want, you can turn these over and you can play the live TV mode, which is a more complex version of the game, which also includes a little bit longer of play, I suppose, as well as additional ways to score bonus points. It tells you right here how you're just going to score bonus points at the end of the game, depending on which mode you're playing as. Uh, but you're going to be utilizing the main front, which is going to tell you the goal of the game and then on your turn what you can do so we'll just go ahead and start with somebody we'll start with rock over here we'll go clockwise first of all when there's nobody here on the stage you got to add somebody on the stage at the beginning of your turn by simply putting one there now you can go ahead and select it to go in any way you want and based on the way it's going to be facing is who it's going to go to so for instance this guy is going to have this stage uh and this walkway this guy can have this walkway this one would have this one and this one will have this one additionally you're trying to get four of the singers into your group. Now you wanna have the four best for you and there's different ways, whether you're playing the, the uh, rehearsal one, which is you get plus one point uh, for mentor bonus, which is per card of your genre. So I'm rock, so if I get three rock cards, they'll score me three points. Additionally, I'll get plus three victory points if I can match all of my focuses. These are the little icons here. So if I get three diamonds and this is part of my crew, I'm gonna score three points. With a live TV mode, it includes those two along with aligning them, giving you straights or plus seven for genre, which is matching three genre icons. If you get all three of them. And then of course, harmony. If you get three of a kind, you're gonna score points as well. Nevertheless though, once you've gone ahead and placed your guy in the selected area you want, so maybe we'll go ahead and select it over here so that it goes not to me because I don't want that specific one. Then we're going to go ahead and look at our hand of cards. They're very, very simple. You do exactly what they say down the list here. So for instance, I can go ahead and use a U-turn, which is I can turn this whole arena 180 degrees. And I'm going to move these aside for the players. That way it's easier to turn this board here. Uh, we rotate it just like that. One and two. 
two. That's 180 degrees, in which case now he's facing this way here. And uh, then I can go ahead and play one more card. So you can play two cards. Uh, I will play this one here, which says that I can go ahead and discard a card of my choosing and move artist forward one. So he'll move down just like that. Then uh, these cards that I've played get discarded. And at the end of your turn, you'll draw back up to four cue cards. That will be the end of your turn. The next player is then going to get a chance to go. We got the pop singer over here. He's going to pick one of these. Oh, and it happens to be pop. And he wants this one. He wants to put this... Maybe he wants to put this like this, because he doesn't want this guy necessarily, but he has to check his hand. Let's see what he has here. He can move artists, switch artists with another player, discard to turn. Uh, this one would be the one he'd probably want to pick. So he can go ahead and play this one here and make, he'll have to discard two cards and he'll turn the arena either 90 or 180. So he'll go ahead and turn it 90. So he'll move this just like this. And then he's going to go ahead and make artists move forward, getting his green guy one step closer. Now, unfortunately, because he discarded his cards here, he's only got one left and it makes it cost two to discard. So his other option would be if he had two cards of the same color, he could discard them to make an artist move forward. But he doesn't. Oh, so he actually he keeps this card and then he just ends his turn by drawing three more cards, right? Just like that. And then the next player is going to get to go. Another artist is going to pop out. And uh, this player actually wants to have the blue Alonzo. So he'll put this harmony uh, character right there. And he's going to look at the cards in his hand. The first one he'll play is Artist Move Forward. He'll score Alonzo, and then Harmony will come down. And then he can go ahead and choose another one of these. And I think he will go for this proper Guidance is Key. He'll play this card here, discarding two cards, which allow Artist to move forward twice. And now he's got two blue for his blue, which is exactly what he wants. And then he's going to draw up to uh, his four cards. And the game just keeps going on like that. And the game is going to end when everybody gets four artists. Now, what happens if somebody, let's say somebody already has four artists. So let's say that this character here, this player here had all four of these guys and another artist were to pop in. This would actually disassociate one of the uh, characters out so you can lose your matches and whatnot. Players can mess you over when they put artists into your uh, into your lineup. And so you got to be careful not to get the artists you don't want and get artists that you do want. And after everybody has four, the game instantly ends and you're going to tally up your points and you're going to follow the simple steps like I explained before, whether you're playing rehearsal mode or live TV mode. In addition to scoring points, down on uh, this little board here tells you this guy gets seven points all by his lonesome and you can score additional bonus points but uh that's basically how the game works it's a pretty simple game you're just re-rotating this little uh this little tracker over rotating this thing over here facing other players making players gain artists or making yourself gain the artists of your choosing and don't forget to drop an artist on your turn or whenever there's there's not one here sometimes there'll actually be one here on your turn in which case you would not drop one but otherwise that's basically how you play the game upstaged all right let's come up and talk about it all right, so some caveats for the game Upstage. The first one is whenever you play a card that is a cue card, if you play it and it says artists move forward, all of them move forward, not just a singular artist. I think I may have messed up on that in the video. I'm not too sure, but if I did, all artists will move forward when the card says all artists. And make sure that you follow the rules on the cards. There's a couple special ones that will do different things as well in the game, like it can stop another card from being played. Uh, additionally, there is a way in which you can discard cards, uh, like I said before, in action, instead of playing a card you can discard two of the same color and then you can move an artist forward on the track whether into uh, your own spaces or into one of your opponents manipulating the board is very very important and also manipulating what your opponents have is important as well you want to have the best set of artists possible and with the uh, live tv mode that is the way to play the game in my opinion if you're a more strategic gamer if you're just learning and you want a gateway game then i would go for the original rehearsal mode it's very simple it has less spaces to move across and it has less bonus victory points to score but in either case, once you've played the first mode, the rehearsal mode first, you can go ahead and transition to the live TV mode very, very quickly and you'll understand the game pretty well. The choices in the game are interesting and very strategic because you're really debating about whether or not you want to have the best team or make your opponents have a worse team than yourself. And when you're playing with more players, which I strongly suggest, the more players, the better in this game, you will have a lot more fun as the board is constantly changing and moving and every different artist is going every different which way, trying to manipulate, wow, I want to move this and this and this. But of course, with more players comes more 
you're not really sure what's going to possibly happen on your next turn. You can't really predict the movements of all of your opponents. You can just do your best to mitigate the damage that is done to you. And being able to choose between the three of four artists at the very end is a nice little nifty, interesting aspect as well. The board is very, very vibrant, and so is the box. The artwork is nice. as the gender-neutral silhouettes and the uh, different characters that you can go ahead and look through and choose to uh, bring into your crew, which is really cool, really fun. I really like that aspect of the game. And the fact that uh, all the cue cards present you with a different challenge, whether it be green ones that make you discard, a, usually discard a single card or draw a card, and then you have the uh, orange ones that are a little more complex, and the yellow ones that do all the turnings and whatnot. All of the cards will allow you to do different things. I actually like being able to turn the board a lot. That's fun as well. It's a nifty little, uh, little aspect of the game is moving the board around, uh, trying to determine who gets what and who gets what when. And then of course the wild artists, the crazy little wild dudes that are able to uh, go to anybody, which is really interesting as well. Overall, if you like games that are pretty much a gateway game with a transition to a little bit more of a complex game, you're going to enjoy this one as well. It should have a pretty good price point if you're interested in taking a look at the game on Kickstarter, which will be next Tuesday, we'll actually have a live play the next day on Wednesday, in which you can go ahead and check out the game and see for yourself if you're interested in taking a look at this game. For me personally, it's a game I'll pull out with family and friends, people at a party, or people are just getting involved in card games. This is a nice game to get them involved with that, and it's also really, really cool to look at. So go ahead and decide for yourself down below in the description. You go ahead and check out where the game is at right now, and then there'll be a link down below for the Kickstarter as well for the game upstaged all right let's go with our outro all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review if you like this video go and check the rest of our videos here on youtube like subscribe and comment as well as taking a look at upstage which will be on kickstarter this wednesday if it's not already up look down in the description and figure it out find out for yourself and let me know what you guys think about this game in the comments below as well as checking our website that's all these giveaways all this fun stuff and our live stream at 7 30 p.m pst every wednesday this coming wednesday if you're watching this early you'll get to see us play this live with the designer which will be really fun and and you guys can decide for yourself if it's something you'd be interested in taking a look at and backing. As well as taking a look at our friends at mainboardgames.com and the Giveaway Geek. Tons of great sites and get giveaways even more than my own site. As well as saying thank you guys. And as always, I look forward to singing the best song in the world. Is this, is this on? Grant, is this on? It, it is? <laughs>